actually going to be putting this underwater bubble slash light volcano into my giant 42 gallon fish tank. So stick around the video to see how it looks like in the end. Right. Um, so my um, well sister and her, and her boyfriend Mike. So um, they they got me a late Christmas present, I guess, and so. Um, they got me this decoration for my um, fish tank, this one right here, and then they got me this underwater volcano thingy, so it's really cool. So let's set up this volcano and see how it looks. So let's get right to it. Right now we're going to assemble the volcano. So first we're going to open this bag because it looks like it has all the um, like wiring I am so happy that didn't fall on the floor. But this looks like the light. Um, except I, I am a little confused because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to come with the air bubbling thingy, but it only came with these two things. So we probably have to get our, our own wire, which luckily I have a little bit of left. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. So I'm gonna take that out of the way. Um, and the wire should be somewhere inside this closet, but it's probably not, like always. So I really don't know. Um, wait, did you start recording? Okay, guys. So I didn't find the things that connect this, but it turns out that it didn't come with the actual like system to like blow the bubbles so you have to buy that separately but that's okay because I can save this for later and I can just take the air bubbler that I already have in my tank and put it here instead. So what we're going to do right now is this light. So we're going to take this, put it on somehow, some way. Oh wait, it's supposed to be the other way. So we're going to put it on just like that probably the hardest way on earth. It's not getting on. That's weird. Okay, um, it's supposed to go like over this thing right here. Then, oh yeah, there we go. Got it. So now I'm guessing this can go underwater and this cannot it's because of this right here. So looks interesting. Let's quickly. Water Avalos. Uh, so, this is the whole entire thing. It looks pretty cool, but I think we're going to have to keep it short and keep it right there. So, let's put this right in. Well, actually, no. Before we do that, we're going to have to put this into the tank. So, what we're going to want to do is put this down right here for now. <coughs> Take this and... Well, before we do that, we're going to want to um, let some of the gravel, like we're going to have to dig a little hole because this has to s stick to the um, ground. So now we can put it in. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, there we go. So we got that done. Um, I feel like I have to need to... Um, cover the wire a little so nobody notices it. But the bad part about this is that the water is so cold, guys. Okay, uh, so let's see if this actually works. So let's take this out. Put this in. And it works. This is so cool, guys. Um, oh gosh, it's strong too. Okay, um, we're probably going to put this toward the wall. Okay, let's see how this works. So we're going to take this too, but before we put that, oh my gosh, let's see if this air bubbler right here fits to all the way back here. Oh my gosh, this is dirty. Um... I'll clean that up later. 100%. Okay, um. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Gosh, that is strong. Okay, um, I'm just gonna take this volcano right here and just try to make this work because, because this is already so hard. Um, okay, so we're apparently, I have the volcano, yeah. So it's kind of working now, but I really do want to get the air bubbles in there. So let's put that like that. And we are done, guys. Look how cool that is. My hands are about to freeze. They're about to fall off. But we did an awesome job of making that look super cool. Although, we do have to cover this up a little so none of the fish get inside the volcano. Um, but otherwise, we are all set. And it looks pretty darn cool. Uh, might have to push it down a little, but this looks absolutely awesome. And it looks like a real volcano. And for now, um, let's... Oh, wait, I made a mistake. So I just noticed a little mistake that I, d that I did when I put this in. I was supposed to rinse it off first, so then it didn't have any germs, but... Too late now, so let's go rinse this off and put it into the core tank. So the core tank has a little bit of decorations. Hey guys, so I just rinsed this off and let's put it inside the core tank. I'm gonna put it against the wall so then the koi will, they won't be able to like, you know, like, like bring it down and then like crack the glass or something. So that looks pretty cool. I am going to add some gravel later on. So yeah, let me quickly turn on the LED lights so you guys can see it better. But um, that looks pretty darn, darn cool. That looks pretty darn cool. Wait until we have some pink gravel in there and we are going to be set. So that looks absolutely cool. This looks even cooler because of the red light and the bubbles. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And yeah, so have a great day.